a lot of these women should be embarrassed for thinking that the grass would be greener in the streets. Well, you all, we have another sad case study of women failing while trying to attempt to level up and go back outside and explore different men and explore different options. Ladies, wake up and learn that men are actually paying attention to a female like you and avoiding you like the plague. Why? Because I see how you treat him. I see how you do the men that have had your back, that have been in your corner, that have supported you, loved you, gave you children, tried to have a family with you. You do those men the worst. So why would I want to then sign up to be the backup? No, <laughs> ma'am. Actually, you can back up away from me because you're a liability. Now you are. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. You are. You should be aware, right, of the very messy breakup and exposure, if you will, as far as Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy, Darius Jackson, was concerned. Um, it started out um, being this mix up, if you will, as far as Kiki going to the Usher concert, very provocatively dressed, if you will, and her baby daddy vocalizing um, how he was not comfortable with her being dressed like that as the mother of his child, right? And so they had this whole back and forth. Kiki uh, tried to pretty much make him look ridiculous to the public. And, you know, she even doubled down as far as trying to really stick it to him by even getting in the video with Usher and talking about how she can do what she want to do. It doesn't matter that she's a mother. You know, I'm my own boss. I can run my life. I want to run my life. And no man can rule me. No man can dictate me. Right. And with that, it got messier. Right. They started really going back and forth. Kiki started trying to expose him and he started trying to expose her. And, you know, they even had this huge blow up to where they were trying to expose one another for being. Yeah, got to watch out for YouTube, certain things you cannot say. But they tried to expose each other by releasing certain documentation, certain still shots, certain footage, you know, to really prop one of themselves up over the other. And with it being very messy uh, and a lot of women really rallying up behind Kiki, it just painted her boyfriend to be in a very bad light. And with that, a lot of people were saying to Kiki, hey, you need to leave him alone. You need to, you know, move around him. He's toxic. He's, and you just don't want that type of energy uh, or upbringing around your child. And so, yes, you did the right thing by distancing yourself, right? And I was honest, all right? And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. While there were so many women talking about, oh, Kiki, you're so strong and you're so brave. And oh, my God, I couldn't believe that you were really going through this. You are just such a phenomenal woman and you did. You need to just leave him alone. Right. So many women were rallying up behind Kiki and really bigging her up as far as finally being bold enough and brave enough to stand up for herself and leave. But. Not so fast. I saw right through that. As a matter of fact, I said that I believe that Kiki was probably the aggressor in a lot of the situation, right? She was probably the one beating up on him. But again, not even here to go back and forth as far as who was right, who was wrong. If you ask me, they're both toxic. And if you really want to be honest, 
Um, I feel like Kiki is probably more toxic, but I mean, that's over there. Today's dope discussion, though, what I really want to highlight and get into is how a lot of these women fail at trying to be boss chicks and trying to level up and trying to really be these women that want to engulf themselves in the 304 culture and lifestyle. They really want to be the people's champ or should I say the 304 champ, as far as being this strong, independent, free, liberated woman. And oftentimes you all, it backfires. Why? Because at the end of the day, we all need stability and security, love, support, and yes, you guessed it, men. Yeah, we need that, ladies. Does not matter how much you try to escape it, run from it, downplay it, make it seem like you just are so high and mighty. At the end of the day, it goes back to your nature. Your nature as a woman says, I need love. I need family. I need support. I need a man. And when you don't have that, you feel empty. And here's another catch to it all, you all. A lot of those same women who are trying to ride for you to leave your man behind and leave your family behind, they're nowhere to be found once you actually do leave. It gets real lonely and cold in those streets, ladies. So in my opinion, Kiki was trying to ride the wave of being this strong, empowered, you know, boss, mother, coming out from the ashes of abuse champ and it backfired on her because her womanly nature kicked in she realized dang i'm kind of throwing away the man that has been there for me i'm kind of throwing away my family also that i can have i don't know a bunch of female supporters who really don't even love me like me or really support me and so yeah let me go back home. But the thing is, Kiki, a lot of the women like yourself that try to ride that wave of being a strong, empowered, boss, independent woman, they can't go back home. Ask Tia. Sometimes that man levels up and leaves you in the dust. It's just so happened that your baby daddy, Kiki, in my humble opinion, and this is not to try to diminish him or degrade him or anything of that sort, but he probably has come to realize that you're probably the best that he can do, especially since you have created this terrible narrative surrounding him. And so since he doesn't have a lot of motion, y'all already have a son together. It's like, well... What else can I do? But Kiki's of the world, there's a lot of men out here that are falling under the Corey Hardrick category. And you can't come back. Again, ask Tia. Let's get into it, you all. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. After all of the mess that Kiki was trying to expose and trying to tell to the world as far as our baby daddy and her, you know, having a very toxic type of relationship. After all of that, Kiki went back home. Why do you think that was? Well, I'm going to tell you in a minute, but first let's read this article together. It says Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson spotted together for the first time amid court battle. Now, Kiki and her baby daddy, they were in the courts battling over custody and they were both trying to accuse each other of being beater uppers. And we're going to put it like that. OK, but let's continue. It says Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy, Darius Dalton Jackson. Uh, have been spotted together for the first time since their legal drama last year. Kiki Palmer and her ex, Darius, uh, have put on a united front and were spotted together for the first time amid legal drama and abuse allegations from last year. 
The pair share a son, Leo, together, and Darius took to his social media to share a snap of his baby mama and his son seemingly on a hike together. Hmm, how interesting. It says last year, Kiki opened up about the abuse she suffered as a result of her relationship with Darius, alleging he was behaving violently towards her. Mmm, is that so, Kiki? And I hate to go here and say this, but I, I'm going to do it because it needs to be addressed. Oftentimes, unfortunately, women like Kiki will try to lean heavily into the whole battered woman type of imagery so that they can be championed, so that they can gain the support and sympathy of the public. And in all actuality, it's lies. You know what I mean? It's embellished. Or she was a culprit as well. And I really hate that because there are real victims out there who are really going through very tragic, violent situations. And it really does diminish them and make them look like, you know, maybe they're not telling the truth. Or it, it just leaves a lot of skepticism up in the air for true victims. And that's what I really don't like about Kiki. And y'all cannot convince me that Kiki was a true victim. You, you just can't. You cannot convince me that Kiki Palmer was out here battered and all of that when she was essentially in the public eye taunting this man. I'm sorry, you all, but real battered women, they don't taunt their abusers. They don't. She was real sassy, real bold, real petty to be out here in fear for her life and to be out here really thinking that, oh, you know, when I get home, he's going to hurt me. Please stop. If anything, y'all were both at each other's necks, but we're going to continue. But that does piss me off. It really pisses me off how a lot of these chicks will try to carry on that type of um, title of being a battered woman just to gain support and sympathy. I hate that. And we can clearly see from her going back home to him that it was not that situation. And I also don't want to hear anything about, oh, well, battered women go back home to their abusers all the time. Kiki is not that. I'm going to tell y'all what happened with Kiki in a minute. Let's continue, though. It says, on Monday, August 12th, Darius took to his Instagram and posted a story of him, Kiki, and their one-year-old son, Leotis. It says, in the image, the three posed outdoor with their one-year-old as they appeared to take their little boy to a zoo. He captioned the snap, the boy and his folks. Darius also shared an image of meerkats they met during the trip to the zoo. Now, this is Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy. Let me see, can I remove this? Now, a lot of people are also speculating that Kiki could also be pregnant again. Because in this photo, you all, she does appear to have a little bit of a, 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 a punch, if you will. But as a woman myself, I'm going to be honest and say that it does just give, maybe she, she's just bloated. I don't know if she's pregnant or not. You know, women, we have our, you know, changes in our bodies during certain times of the month. And so she could just be bloated. But I would not be surprised if she was actually pregnant. I wouldn't. But yeah, that's that article, you all. And to me... It just really highlights the fact that Kiki failed at trying to be a strong, independent city girl. Now, let me explain. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Now, I know the narrative that a lot of these chicks out here will try to paint around Kiki is she's a battered woman that is so attached to her abuser that she had no choice but to go home well like i said earlier you can go back in the history and pull up all of the different details that support my theory of that not being the case um and actually her being the one that was probably putting paws on him or at the very least they were going at each other y'all can go into that later on but right now today for the sake of time i just want to summarize what I really feel is at play with this Kiki Palmer situation. I do not feel like Kiki Palmer 
is a battered woman that had no choice but to go home to her abuser. I don't feel that way. Actually, I feel that Kiki tried her best to go out here and be the 304 people's champ. Mm -hmm. Once Kiki saw how the public was backing her up, when it came to her boyfriend calling her out for dressing a particular way as a mother and all of that, she utilized that moment to try to capitalize. Oh, the people are rallying up behind me. They're defending me. And due to the fact that a lot of these chicks out here are not loyal, it's all about gaining popularity. It's all about being able to say that I am a strong woman and all of that. Since that is what a lot of these females out there prioritize, she didn't think twice about ditching that man that is the father of her child and saying, to hell with you, I'm going to go out here and ride the wave of being the 304 people's champ. And it is in my humble opinion that Kiki probably thought that there would be a lot of men outside in those streets waiting for her, right? Because now I have all of this attention on me. I'm in the spotlight. I have a new body after giving birth. And so clearly I should be able to replace this man. I mean, let y'all tell it. He's way beneath her, right? And so Kiki probably got this false sense of self. Like I can do better. I can level up. I can go outside. I see mothers do it all the time. So what would make me any different? It would actually probably be better for me because I'm hot now, you know? And so, yeah, I'll be able to replace this family. It'll be a piece of cake. It'll be instant. Won't take me long at all. Let me boss up. Let me level up. For crying out loud, isn't Kiki Palmer's Instagram, you know, something around being a boss? So she really did feel like, oh, I'll be able to step outside of this and go out here, level up and live my best life. And on top of that, find a better man to really rub it in my ex's face as far as how much of a hot girl I really am. But what happened, you all? The opposite. The opposite happened. Kiki went outside and realized that there were no men waiting for her. Not quality ones anyway. And the reason why this is, ladies, right, is because men are actually paying attention to you, how you maneuver, what you do, what you prioritize. And with Kiki, it looked as though she prioritized the public's opinion over her own man's opinion. She was somebody that felt like what the public had to say held more weight than what her man had to say. And so other men are paying attention to that and saying, hmm, well, if she would do that to him, then surely she would do that to me. Put a two in the chat if y'all agree with me and y'all get the likes up as well. Put a two in the chat if you agree that other men are actually paying attention to what this woman is doing to the man that she is currently with. Y'all let me know. Maybe I'm wrong. Fellas, y'all back me up. Let me know. As a man, are you somebody that is paying attention to how a woman treats the man before you? Does that give you a good indication of her character, her mentality, her lifestyle? Y'all let me know, right? But in my opinion, that is what happened with Kiki. Kiki went outside and there was no man that she really wanted to be with waiting for her. Maybe you would have a few guys wanting to pipe it down, but as far as wiping it up, no cigar. You clearly don't have respect for your man. You clearly don't know how to take direction. You clearly are a rebellious woman, you know? And so, no, I don't want to touch you. You can stay over there, stay in the streets, have fun with the sisterhood. Hopefully they can be your new man because I won't. 
Kiki went outside and realized she was not as hot as she thought she was. That's what happened in my humble opinion. And so many men are looking at Kiki like she's a liability, like so many other, you know, women are. A lot of women make that mistake of feeling like the grass is greener on the other side. And it's not. As a matter of fact, there's no grass at all. And so since Kiki went outside and realized that, damn, not only was the grass not greener, but it was actually concrete, you know, it's no grass at all. You know, maybe I should just go ahead and tuck my tail and go back home. And since that man that Kiki had her baby by, and it's no disrespect or shade to him, I'm just being honest, since he didn't have a lot of motion and she pretty much soiled his reputation, what more can he do but take her back? If anything, by Kiki going back to him, it kind of validates what he's been saying, right? It gives him validity. Like, oh, see, I told y'all. I wasn't the problem. If I was the problem, she wouldn't have came back home to me. If I was the problem, you know, she would have stood on business. So clearly, I'm not that much of a bad guy. But nonetheless, Kiki had to go back home. She did. She had no choice. Luckily for Kiki, her baby daddy was not Corey Hardrick. To where he was able to level up on her, reject her. I'm just being honest, y'all. Y'all can let me know if I'm wrong. Like I said, put a two if you agree with your little big sis. If you don't, let me know in the comments what you disagree with. But that's how I'm seeing this. Men will reject the Kiki Palmers of the world. Men will reject the Tia Maoris of the world. They are paying attention to your movements, how you maneuver. And if you, you look like a liability, you probably are. Men today are looking for assets. Women that would add on to their lives in complementary ways. You know, add value, be beneficial to them, for them. Not women that are going to be combative and throwing them under the bus and trying to expose everything, making up lies and stories just to make yourself look better. Like, no man wants to touch that. So, again, y'all, that is my take on this whole Kiki Palmer going back home to her boyfriend. It's because, you know, she, she was not able to replace him. No man is checking for her like that. She failed. And luckily for her, he had nobody else waiting for him because she really ruined his reputation. And so he just took her back because, I mean, what else does he have? Or maybe he really does just want to make it work with his family. Either way, Kiki learned the hard way. Yeah, the streets are cold. Because like I said earlier, you are a lot of these chicks that would root for you to leave your man behind and throw away your family are the same women who will leave you behind in those streets once you really do that. Kiki probably looked around and saw all of the women that were rallying up behind her were nowhere to be found. And guess what? Her nature kicked in. I need love. I need support. I need my man. I need my family. Let me go back home. And I wouldn't be surprised if Kiki ended up getting married to that boyfriend of hers and sticking with him because she got a real reality check of, yeah, the streets don't love me. Let me just stay right here because I can't do any better than this. You know? And who's to say that her relationship is not something that is, you know, okay to be in. You know, I'm not going to say that it's perfect. Like, nobody's relationship is, is perfect, but you know, maybe it is, you know, good for them because they seem like, you know, two peas in a pie, like they're tomato, tomato, if you ask me, you know, but nonetheless, it could be something that was, you know, a solid foundation. It's just that Kiki thought that she could really boss up and really level up and replace him. And then she just had an epic fail, you know, and she just got humbled. It could have been that, you know, but nonetheless, 
let this serve as a cautionary tale to really appreciate what you have. These females out here in these streets, they don't care about y'all. They don't love y'all. And you need to really take a look at yourself as women to see where you're coming up short. A lot of y'all, like I said earlier, y'all prioritize everything and everybody else outside of your family, outside of your man. And that is a problem. All of this could have been avoided, Kiki, and you could have saved yourself the embarrassment because best believe this is embarrassing, Kiki. For you to do all of that and still have to tuck your tail and go home, it's absolutely embarrassing. But you could have saved all this embarrassment, Kiki, by simply listening to what your man was telling you. If he was uncomfortable with something, you should have acknowledged that and you should have uh, made the necessary adjustments to accommodate that. You know, out of respect, because honestly, it looks like he respected you. It looks like he loved you. He didn't just, you know, abandon you with a baby. He was there by your side. So that's my take on it, though, you all. Y'all let me know your thoughts and feedback down below in the comment section. What do you think happened with Kiki? Is she a battered woman to you that just had no choice but to go back home to her abuser? Y'all let me know if y'all agree with that sentiment uh, or if you agree with something along the same lines of what I'm saying, which is she got rejected by a lot of men out there that she probably would want to be with and, you know, had to go back home. Okay, y'all let me know. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing what you gotta say in the comment section. Much love and peace to my crown head.